Hi guys and welcome back to part 3 on let's build an amplifier using Aliexpress parts and today we're gonna build up this uh, Akuphase M405 amplifier kit which is easy you can find it easy on Aliexpress we're gonna start assembling this board and then at the end we're gonna do an audio test and oscilloscope test to see the real power and to see the frequency response and to compare with the listing to see if it's how the listing says and then also to understand if it's a winner for our chassis so without further ado let's get started So I'm gonna start to populate uh, all this board off camera because I don't want you to get bored seeing me here how I'm soldering and uh, soon as I have uh, something to tell you if I find something wrong on this amplifier uh, on uh, the soldering process of the components if there is any component that doesn't match the PCB I'm gonna come and let you know guys uh, the issues so let me get uh, all ready and start uh, soldering all the small components first so all the small uh, resistors are in place and also I soldered the diode so pay attention because you have two different diodes over here you have the signal diodes which is 4148 are four pieces and then you have uh, 12 volts Zener diode and you're gonna notice that are quite bigger than the 4148 and also pay attention to the polarity of the diodes when you go to solder because it's uh, important if you solder backwards they will not work and yeah all the resistors are in place maybe you say why that resistor is soldered flat to the board and not like the other ones because this one come pre-soldered by the seller as also the two small f uh, fets down there because there is two fets there uh, it's like um, smd components and then on epochs in the top to don't see them because like that they come already pre-soldered and uh, yeah i'm gonna carry on now with the with the capacitors and i'm gonna let you know if there is any issue so far and we have also all the capacitors in place so you can see these these 2.2 nanofarads, three pieces, the input capacitor, which is the big one over here, electrolytic capacitors over there, and also the 1 watt and 2 watts resistor are already soldered in place. So next are few transistors that are left over here, so six transistor is to put then the IC on the socket and the power resistors. So let me finish also this one and we're gonna carry on. And here we go our board is ready all the co components are soldered in place also the power resistors everything is done and i can say that looks really cool let me install this one on a heat sink and uh, doing the magic smoke test to see if it's passing that one and then we're gonna listen few songs to see how it's uh, how how it's sounding this amplifier and then we're gonna run some oscilloscope test to see if it's uh, matching the specs on the listing so yeah let me install it on a heatsink and before powering on this uh, guy first i suggest you let's check uh, if there is no any short between the transistor to the heatsink so I'm gonna make sure there is no beeping so with the screws we need to have a beeping uh, we don't need to have beeping with this metal part of the transistor so there is no beeping there no beeping there no beeping there and no beeping there so we are all good so now let's power and uh, do a check first to see if there is any dc voltage on the output like that we're gonna make sure if we can um, connect a speaker to it to do a sound test so this is the listing on aliexpress about this uh, amplifier so you can get the diy kits or finished boards so i get the diy kits that costing cheaper and let's see on uh, description what says about them so voltage supply we can power with between uh, plus minus 25 volts up to plus minus 55 volts with the max voltage we should get the maximum power of 150 watts into 8 ohms voltage gain is 90 and frequency response should be 20 hertz up to 20 kilohertz with an about plus minus uh, 0 0.05 0 0.0 0 0.1 db something like that they say that the total uh, harmonic distortion plus, plus noise 
should be less than 0.02% at 50 watts into 8 ohm, which is really cool. Then more about it, it is says in, about the bias, because that resistor that came already soldered on place, that is our bias resistor. So it looks like the seller doesn't want us to play with the bias. I could desolder and put, but let's leave it how they set up, because how they set up, we should have these kind of lines on, on the graphs about this uh, amplifier. Okay, so let's start powering with 25 volts first and let's see how is uh, if there is any voltage on the output, how it's doing, if it's drawing too much power or it's working fine. And after that we're gonna power the max po maximum power that I have on that chassis which is dual 47 volts and we're gonna play a sound. And here we go, we are ready for the magic smoke test. So I have the ground, negative and positive, and I set up my power supply to 25 volts. So let me turn it on. And we are drawing only 0.01 amps. So this means 10 milliamps. Let's have a look for the voltage, DC voltage on the output, if we have anything. And looks like it's 0. 5 millivolts, not volts, millivolts, 0 0.5 millivolts, which is okay. So it's safe to connect the speaker, so let me connect the speaker and uh, prepare everything to do a sound test. So I ramp up the voltage now to dual 47 volts because this is the power supply that is inside the chassis. Let me turn it on and see what's happening. So I turn it on and now we are drawing 60 milliamps, which is good. And now let's see again for voltage on the output. And still the same, 0 0.4 millivolts, which is cool. So now I'm safe, I'm going to connect the speaker, and I'm going to put a source of sound, and we're going to listen how this amplifier sounds. So I set up the microphone in front of this speaker. Now let's find a nice sound and uh, play a song to see how this amplifier sounds. So here we go guys, we are ready for some measurements. So I set up already 1 kilohertz and 100 millivolts for the input signal. So the yellow it will gonna read the input signal, what goes inside the amplifier and the red one what comes out from the amplifier. So let's turn on and let's do an auto set. So here we go, for 100 millivolts input we have already a output of 12 volts RMS. So let's go more until we're gonna see the clip 
300 millivolts already the clip is there so it's very sensitive this amplifier so let's go slowly the clip is already there i like the signal is clean is not doing like the l20 and we have an input of 240 millivolts and an output of almost 30 volts over there yeah so we have a 29 volts 0.6 rms on the output so let's do a calculation quick so 20 29 volts rms i don't consider it also the 0.6 29 volts rms give us um, a power of 105 watts into 8 ohm which is really powerful and i was expecting this was because uh, on the listing say with the maximum voltage uh, dual 55 shoes goes with uh, almost 100 uh, 50 watts but always the 150 watts is not rms is the musical but 105 watts definitely win the competition and l20 already lose uh, the chance to be in the chassis so this one definitely can go inside the chassis now let's see the frequency response okay so let's now see the frequency response so i'm gonna reduce the amplitude to 150 50 millivolts and we're gonna see the output what is doing so let's go to frequency and let's start with the 10 hertz and we're gonna turn on here auto set and let's have a look what's happening so on 10 hertz we have 18.23 volts 20 hertz we already jumped to 18.58 and we are on 40 hertz and we have 18, 18 volts 0.81 which is going a bit out up and let's go quick to 100 and let's see in 100 hertz so 100 hertz is 18.8 uh, .8. so from here let's see up to 500 we are in the same 18.8 .8 over there so it's staying flat let's see up to one kilohertz same one 18.80 so staying still flat let's go to five kilohertz five kilohertz auto set we are going a bit up with the voltage is 19.9 now so it's going a bit amplifying more the highs a bit so let's go to 10 kilohertz right now at 10 kilohertz we have 20 volts in 60 so it's going up up the the, the line is not properly flat flat the highs is amplifying more let's go to 15 right now auto set so on 15 kilohertz we have 21.42 volts so it's getting going up the, the 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 line is not properly flat on frequency response let's go to 20 kilohertz auto set on 20 kilohertz we are in 21.7 rms voltage in the output which is really we start with 18 and we reach 21 quite a uh, high voltage rms so the high is amplifying more so let's go to also 25 kilohertz let's see what's happening in 25 kilohertz 25 kilohertz the voltage is more high is 22.4 and what about 30 kilohertz and 30 kilohertz we are 22.70 so yeah the the frequency response is not properly flat uh is going to amplify more the the high frequency than the low frequency definitely aqua phase m405 is totally better than l20 sc amplifier l20 sc amplifier we saw on the oscilloscope that can go only maximum to 60 watts power which is also clean with no distortion on the scene wave then on the positive side uh, do some wrinkle and then the negative uh, side is flooding when uh, uh, goes to the maximum power over 60 watts and yeah uh, i'm not here to investigate why is doing that one i just want to build them to see which one is better to go in the chassis this one sound really nice handling really good the power with only 240 millivolts input rms is doing 100 0.5 105 watts power into 8 ohm rms which is really cool with a pure scene wave clean and yeah i'm really happy how this uh, amplifier kit goes and i really recommend it and if you enjoyed this uh, video please don't forget to give me a like 
and uh, if you don't want to miss the next part of this uh, journey on building uh, an amplifier with the aliexpress parts stay tuned please subscribe activate the notification bell because on the next episode we are going to build uh, the l12 this is the l12 ampli audio amplifier and also this one uh, claim to be powerful and claim to have really low low di distortion so I start already putting the transistors because uh, I pair them, uh, I match them with the other board on um, HFE of those, the transistors, on the, and uh, that's why I are already soldered, but I'll solder only one pin, if you can see, only one pin in the middle. These ones I'll solder because I match with the heatsink, because uh, I did this heatsink that can fit all these three, and which one win, it will gonna go inside the, the, the chassis. So yeah, this one it will gonna be next step, testing, uh, building up this one, testing the same, do audio test and power test to see how it's doing. So until the next part, have a good day and bye bye guys.